scared me. Sorry. What you listening to? I recorded some of the interviews we had with some people about the house. Anything good? Not really. Just a bunch of people telling us we're crazy for wanting to come here. There's this one old man who used to live in town as a kid. And he said, no, in my 86 years, I've never seen something as firmly in the grasp in the devil's hand as the old Grantham place. The house should be burnt to the ground. <laughs> yeah. It's not the only one who thinks that way. Yeah, I'm understanding his attitude. <laughs> so I was wondering, um, this might sound weird, but I was thinking maybe I could draw the woman you were dreaming of if you think it might help. Are you serious? I mean, I can see that it's bothering you, so I just thought... <sighs> Never mind, I was stupid. No, no! It's a great idea. Thank you. It's not a big deal. I'll um, go get my sketchbook. Something like this? <laughs> yeah. That's it. That's... That's her. No wonder she scared the crap out of you. It wasn't how she looked. It was how she made me feel. She was just this giant vortex of anger. It was so overwhelming. I never felt anything like it. Thank you for this. I think it might help. She looks vaguely familiar, but... I'm, uh, gonna wash up. You should get some rest. Yeah, I think I might. I'm exhausted. <laughs> Thanks. Anytime. people and they were screaming and I couldn't understand them. I, I think they're trapped. What's happening to me? This house is messing with your mind. The longer we stay here, the more dreams I have. And the more I want to know the truth about the grave. We can't keep going in circles like this. You're obviously not thinking straight. Why don't we just go home for a couple of days and regroup and then dig up as much as we can on the investigation? Jack, no. I, I can't. Just leave. Yes, you can. 
You just get up, you walk out the door, you get into the car and drive back to the land of the living. Jack, you know me. Do you think I can just do that? The not knowing would kill me. <sighs> Damn it, Casey. This has gone too far. I understand that finishing something that you started is really important to you, but this is distorting your view on reality. Yes, it is. But why? Why is it affecting me? Why am I so connected to this place? Why am I so desperate? You have a choice. No. <laughs> See, I don't. I'm telling you, I have to know. I was drawn here by something, okay? And I, I, I just want to know why, okay? There's got to be something that tells me why. This is about her, isn't it? Who? Don't. I'm not blind. I've seen the two of you the past couple of days. It's not about Elliot. What is your problem with her? How long do you have? Look, I know she can be closed up and pain in the ass sometimes. She hasn't exactly been honest with us, but every once in a while, her facade cracks. You get to see her, the real her. under the layers of sarcasm and feigned indifference. She's lonely and sad. But this isn't about her. She'd be out of here as fast as you if she didn't sign those contracts. As soon as we're done here, you know you'll never see her again, right? If what you say is true and she doesn't want to have anything to do with this place, she's not going to want to have anything to do with you either. Look, my first priority is haunted or hoax. I just want to know the truth so I can tell the world. Have you seen our views? People are watching. People are intrigued by what's happening here. I'm out of ideas. I don't know what else to do. We've almost gone through everything in the boxes. We haven't heard back from the emails that you've sent, and we've exhausted what little resources you have when investigating a 117-year-old murder. I have one more idea. She might not like it. What? We have to go upstairs.